Hey friends, today we are hanging out at Disney's Magic Kingdom. I wanted to come out and see if they have any new snacks for us to try. And also I hear that Enchanted Tales with Belle has reopened and I love going to that show. They have so many incredible animatronics that a lot of people don't even know exist. So I figured we'd come on out, ride some rides, eat some food, and just have a beautiful Magic Kingdom kind of day. Anywho's, let's go do this. And we have made it to the Magic Kingdom. I feel like I haven't been here in such a long time. The last time I was here, actually, we were riding Tron for the cast member previews. I just got back from my trip to Oregon and I had such an amazing time. I got to drive up and down the coast, visit some incredible places I never thought I was gonna be able to go and I loved it so much. I only made one video there, but I did make a lot of small vlogs on Instagram. So if you guys wanna check that out and now I'm excited to be back at the Magic Kingdom. I wanna ride some rides, maybe Winnie the Pooh, maybe go in the treehouse and try some food. It is such a beautiful day out today in Florida. A little bit hot, I think in the high 80s, but there's some breeze and I can deal with that. Like I mentioned the last time I was here, I got to ride Tron and I liked the ride. I thought it was really fun and I know a lot of people really, you know, kind of overhyped it and then they got let down a lot, but I mean, I still enjoyed it a lot. I think it's a way better ride than Seven Doors Mine Train and I would even put it above Space Mountain. I still think Big Thunder Mountain is gonna be my favorite roller coaster in Magic Kingdom though, but let me know what you guys think. If you got to ride Tron or by what you saw of it, let me know what you guys think and I did my video and it's already up on my channel so you guys can go back and check it out if you haven't seen it yet. It's kind of funny because when I'm sitting at home planning out my days on things I want to do when I go to the parks, I think of like all the things that make me happy and I'm like, oh, I want to go do that. You know, I love riding Winnie the Pooh. I love going and seeing the help of some woozles and uh, haven't been to the treehouse in a while. It is incredibly busy today and I decided to get the Genie Plus. It was $22, but I wanted to make sure I was able to get everything I wanted to do done today. Uh, Enchanted Tales with Belle is included with that, but I don't know if I'm gonna get one or not because it's kind of like a show and it's gonna be very popular. It just came back and I think it was the last thing to come back. Everything else now is 100% open. I was trying to think of something else that hasn't opened yet again at Magic Kingdom and I really think that was the last thing. So with my first selection, I decided on going with the many adventures of Winnie the Pooh because I love this ride so much and I really wanted to visit the 100 Acre Wood. This is also one of my mom's favorite rides and now that we checked in, I can pick another lightning lane. Here comes our honey pot. <laughs> so much I just like dark rides in general and my favorite part is definitely the heffalumpsum woozles and now I think we're gonna maybe get something to eat maybe something to drink I was able to grab a lightning lane for Dumbo and that's literally right next door to Winnie the Pooh so uh, we'll have time to grab a quick snack and then ride Dumbo and then maybe over to uh, Belle 
I was trying to decide on what I wanted to get for lunch, and I haven't been at Cosmic Ray's Starlight Cafe in a while. I know a lot of people don't like it, but uh, yeah, I've had a, a maybe a good meal or two here in the past, and honestly, I don't even know if they have a new menu or not. I mean, I'm sure they've got something on there I haven't had before. But honestly, most of my friends who actually come here, they don't come here for the food, they come here for Sunny Eclipse. I might try and wait to see if a table opens up next to Sunny Eclipse, but this is what I ended up getting. I got Sully Slush, which is like a blue raspberry slushy with purple whipped cream, and then I got the Triple B Burger, and it's got Cherry Coke barbecue sauce. Cherry Coke barbecue sauce, and then I got a Powerade. So pretty fancy, uh, fancy meal. Like I said though, I'd rather be inside listening to the sweet music of Sunny Eclipse, but it's hard to get seating in there, especially in front of the stage. So I'm gonna keep my eyes open. Might as well try the burger while we're here though. Here we go. Cherry Coke barbecue sauce, bacon, onion tanglers, a good burger patty. I'm intrigued. Oh wow, the barbecue sauce is really good. It's definitely not the best burger I've ever had, but I can say it's not the worst either, so it's got that going for it. I think the most unique thing is probably that barbecue sauce. Everything else just kind of just reminds me of cafeteria-ish. But now I guess we can try Sully Slush. Look at it, it's melting pretty quick, so. That's good. Reminds me of Ames or Hills department stores because I used to get these ices with a pretzel at the front of the store. The, that's what I remember, ices, that's it. That's good. Honestly, I don't know if there's a flavor with the purple whipped cream or if it's just like whipped cream dyed purple, but there's something different about this that I like a lot. I really love this. I'm gonna go check to see if a table opened up. I wanna go inside, I wanna to listen to Sunny Eclipse, you know? Oh my lord, I ended up getting the best seat in the house. And look at that, the man himself. important thing to look at while you're watching Sunny Eclipse is his footwork. It is so impressive. <laughs> Only high class entertainment on this show, folks. I guess there's not much I can say about the food. I mean, it is what it is. It's not that great, but Sunny Eclipse, I mean, that's reason enough to go in there at all. I love just sitting there watching him, and if you get a seat up close, and you just get to pay attention to his like facial features and his dialogue, it cracks me up. It can get a little bit loud in there, so I don't know if you heard him like too well, but it is a good show, and he just goes all day, nonstop. Even when the park closes, he's in there just talking and playing music. Earlier I was talking about how busy it is here today and you can see that here at the teacups the line is actually outside of the teacup area. It's a lot of people waiting to ride the teacups and normally that's the ride everyone goes on when they can't get on the other rides. Now it's time for us to step right up to Dumbo the Flying Elephant. And I think we're gonna go over on this side because we have the lightning lane. I wonder, I, I think they make like a separation on the inside, but wouldn't it be cool if they had just one for lightning lane and the other one for regular standby? I feel like that would be a lot faster. Bada bing. Green means go. To be honest, I think I like Astro Orbiter better than Dumbo. If Astro Orbiter was available on Genie Plus, I'd get it all the time. I do love Dumbo though, so no knocking it. Now we gotta pick our Dumbo. Ooh, what about this guy? He's got a purple and green hat. Oh, this one right over here. Oh, let's get the orange one. Orange and teal. Yeah, there we go. 
This is the one, the silver tuna. I'm ready to blast off or take off. It's so hot out today that that water just looks so cooling and refreshing. I wish I could splash it on my face. I bet you it'll smell like pirates. Oh, 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 we gotta go up. We're going up. Woo! We're going all the way up. <laughs> yes! Fly, Dumbo, fly! Ooh, the barnstormer. <laughs> Oh, this ride just makes me smile so much. Let's bring her down. Let's bring her down a little bit. We're going down. We're going down, down. I'm the king of the world. I'm going to be the only low rider right now. Oh, oh, coming in hot. Let's bring her back up. We're bringing her back up. You raise me up. So I can climb the mountains. <laughs> I feel like it's almost impossible to sit there and ride Dumbo with like a sad face or like a frown. It's like impossible. I love it. It gets me so giddy. Now I think it's time we make our way over to Enchanted Tales with Belle. And it's right around the corner. So we're going to go up the backside of uh, Seven Doors Mine Train. Enchanted Tales with Belle is actually right next to Be Our Guest and it's like a kind of like an experience and it's been closed for like I said uh, probably over three years now. It closed with the shutdown and never reopened back up and now it is so I'm kind of like I said I'm very excited to go uh, watch it again. Right there is Be Our Guest and right here is the uh, entrance for Enchanted Tales with Belle. Since it's a 35 minute wait so we're going to make our way in. It's in that little cottage over there. Little town. I should have gotten a lightning lane when I could have because now the next available lightning lane isn't for uh, 8 o'clock tonight. So it's 35 minutes or wait till 8 o'clock tonight. And I think I'd rather take my time in the, uh, the queue over here. It's a pretty queue. For a while, Belle was actually out here meeting, like doing photo opportunities like distantly. And I like it though. Look at it over here. It's very fancy, very pretty. I just realized I think I had some barbecue sauce in my beard. Huh. You know what? I can't tell if those birds are real. Like, are they real bird chirping? Or is that sounds that Disney just pumps in? Because this looks so amazing over here. I feel like I'm in a, like a different fairy tale land. Look at this. And then right up there is uh, Be Our Guest and Beast Castle. This is such a beautiful setting. So far, we've only waited probably, I'd say, 20 minutes, and the line's moving pretty fast, and I think we're about to actually head indoors. I don't know if there's a continuation of the queue, or if we're just going to get right into the experience. After I said we were only waiting for like 10 minutes, now we're actually heading in, and the wait time kind of went, I think we've been here for at least an hour now. So it definitely escalated quickly, but we've been stuck in this main room for quite some time. I really wish I got a lightning lane, but I think we're gonna make it in, as long as we get in with this group of people. I was staring at this checkers board. Oh no! <laughs> oh no! <laughs> I think I spoke too soon. <laughs> At least the queue is nice and themed. They got a rocking chair over there. Might as well sit in the rocking chair and just kind of rock. Oh, never mind. I don't think it's rocking right now. I think it's just stationary or just a chair at the moment. But it's a very nice fireplace. Got a checkers board, some pots, and uh, a Sprite. Oh, and an outlet up there too. Oh, well, look at that. If you ever want to charge your phone, they got a little outlet right there.
you a good looking bunch, especially you in the back. This is so exciting. Tonight's the night Belle and the Beast fall in love. At least we hope so. And to help move things along, you're all going to surprise Belle and act out the story of how they met. Oh, I can hardly wait. What do you think? Should we surprise Belle tonight? Yes. yes. And we have enough parts for everyone. First, we need two big, strong suits of armor to march around and protect the castle. Okay, my friends, guys, you march, 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 and don't sit for you two. Come on, march, march, march. And finally, it's time to decide who gets to portray me. Oh, you've got some awfully big drawers to fill. Okay, give me a great big. Oh. Oh. This is such an impressive animatronic. Look at this wardrobe. Library for us. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. Au revoir, my friends. Have fun. I just want to spectate. I don't want to part. <laughs> oh wow! Look at Luminaire right there. much fun we waited a while for it so i suggest if you do plan on coming and checking out enchanted tales try to get a lightning lane but i love the animatronics the wardrobe and lumiere was so amazing i can't even believe how fluid they actually moved and then also the cast members really made that whole experience they're really getting everyone involved in storytelling and it's just really awesome and it also brings to a good point about the cast member negotiations on a raise and a lot of people you know if you haven't heard they're trying to push to get like $20 an hour for cast members. I fully support that. I mean, I think cast members deserve so much money. I mean, like, you know, if you come to Disney, you know, they're the ones that kind of make the magic. And I just really, like, loved that show. It was so good. We were in there for, I would probably say, an hour and 20 minutes. And I think maybe they took a break in between. But now it's gotten a little bit nicer out. It's kind of like that golden hour right now. I feel like this is like a beautiful shot right here. This is the shot right now. It was definitely pretty hot earlier. Now it cooled down a lot more and I'm just loving the sun and like just, just the color right now. Okay. Definitely still a little bit busy. Look at the line for people trying to pull the sword of the stone. That's a big line. Hope somebody gets it. As I was walking alongside the castle, I was going by Sleepy Hollow and I got a smell of the funnel cakes and waffles and I kind of think I'm fancying a fruit waffle sandwich. 
This is exactly what I was talking about. This is a go-to right here, and I haven't had one in a waffle. Like a, I haven't had one in a waffle. I went to, <laughs> I went to say a while, and I was, I said I haven't had one. I haven't had one in a waffle. But yeah, look at that. Strawberries, vanilla, strawberries, vanilla, <laughs> blueberries. I'm tripping over my words today. It's kind of hysterical. Strawberries, bananas, blueberries, Nutella, and a waffle all together. This is definitely one of the best snacks in the park, and it's only $8.49, and it's a whole waffle. It's a waffle taco, basically, with fruit and Nutella. And I do love bananas, but look at this. So good, I don't know if it's gonna come out the other side, so I'm gonna eat it like this, so that way we don't make a mess. There we go. I think that's gonna work, just like that. I'm glad I was walking by Sleepy Hollow and said, you know what, I can go for one of those fruit waffles and stop and pick this bad boy up because that was delicious. That was so good actually. And I don't know if you can change out the fruits, but I would love to see if I can, I don't like blueberries that much, but I would love to see if I can get more bananas. I feel like that's the least thing that they give you. They give you way more strawberries than bananas. I only have like one banana or maybe two bananas in there, but I want to see more. It's not very difficult to eat. Usually I'm spilling stuff all over me, but this is doing really well. I got no Nutella stains on me. I wish Waffle House would make something like this. I love Waffle House's waffles because they're so thin. I mean, these are pretty thin, but they're still thicker than Waffle House's, I feel like. Look at that. Oh, there's a bunch of bananas. Oh, there it is. Enough of the waffle business. I'm sorry that today might be a boring day for you guys. I mean, usually when I plan out my days, I like try to make it like really fun and entertaining, but this is exactly how I kind of planned out my day today. Literally, I wanted to ride Winnie the Pooh. I wanted to go see Enchanted Tales of Belle. Dumbo was just an added benefit. I was gonna do the tree house, but I don't think we're gonna get up there before the sun goes down, and I really wanted to see it like all lit up, so I might save that for another day. And now I'm thinking maybe a little park hop maybe hop over to Epcot hang out with some friends I don't know just kind of enjoy the day all the lights are turning on I'm not super hot the air is chill I don't know this is so good I'm gonna be I'm gonna start coming in later and later I think we're gonna just hop over to Epcot now. Carry on the evening a little bit. I don't wanna go home. And it's so beautiful out. I'm sure World Showcase is gonna be amazing. I've got some friends over there, so might as well keep it going, you know? Look at this. Isn't this a sight to see? No filter here, folks. This is just the natural color of Epcot. Got monorail orange right there. Honestly, the sky is matching Spaceship Earth too. It's so pretty out. It's like this cotton candy sky. I'm glad we made a choice and decided to come on over to Epcot. I also got some new shoes that I think glow in the dark. So maybe we'll test those bad boys out tonight. It looks like it's that rare moment in Epcot where there's no festival going on. Festival of the Arts ended and Flower and Garden starts in a week and there is no festival going on. It's a diet at Epcot and I kind of like it. I mean, I like all the festivals though, so I'm not going to lie about that. But I do like it just being regular World Showcase for a little bit. I ran into some friends and Kristen is actually doing a little food adventure and uh, you decided to get some chippies, huh? I did. I'm trying to eat around the world for only $50. And this was my 10th country. 11 is next in Canada. I got the chips in the UK. Can I have a chip? Can I have a chip? Thank you. I like mine. Cheers. Cheers. Cheers to chips. Chip, chip, hooray. <laughs> One second, we're eating chips over in the United Kingdom. And now I think we're all gonna head on over and do uh, Turtle Talk with uh, Crush. We were all trying to decide on what we wanted to do for our last thing here at Epcot. And everybody wanted to go do Turtle Talk with Crush. I wanna talk to the turtles. I wanna talk to the turtles. Honestly, how funny is it? The last thing, like at the end of the night at Epcot, we all, unanimously decided to come and do Turtle Talk with Crush. Woohoo! And we're not the only people. Like literally, the park is closing in 20 minutes. <laughs> 
Look at Mr. Ray's Lagoon. I know, I Oh, look at this little guy. <laughs> oh. Cut back bailout, dude. Sweet. Well, check out these human dudes in the human tank. Hello, human dudes. All right, it's late, but dude, we just bonded. That was cool. But that's totally why I'm here. My mini man Squirt was like, yo, dad. And I was like, yo, dude. And he was like, what's up with the human dudes? And I was like, bro, I have no idea. So I've come to learn about humans. If you could teach me about humans, say cha. Cha. You so totally rock. I'm still trying to decide. I'm still trying to figure out why we chose that for our last thing. <laughs> like, we we could have done Soren. We could have done Test Track, but we came to Turtle Talk. That's the life of a local, though. Yep. We just do random things and just have fun. Yep. Now it's time to head on home and check in on Gracie, girl. It was a fun, epic day, though, I have to say. I'm not too sure why I sound like Dr. Seuss there. It was a fun, epic day, I do have to say. Ooh, monorail coming by. <sighs> Getting caught in the headlights of a monorail. Couldn't ask for a better thing. Here she comes, woohoo! There she is! What, what, what? You wanna go for walkie? Huh? Come on, let's go. Why'd you run back upstairs? Come on down here. You gonna make me come up there? All right, I'm coming up, I'm coming up, I'm coming up. You're coming down, I'm coming up. Which way are you going? Which way are you going? Why are you going back up? What are you doing? I'm coming up. I'm co what are you doing? We're gonna go for a walk. Come on, let's go for a walk. All right, we're leaving. <laughs> there you go. Oh, give me that smile. Let me see, right here. Bada boom. Okay, let's go. <laughs> the funniest thing in the world is seeing a Dalmatian smile. If you, if you can see Gracie a little bit, she like raises up her lip, but Google Dalmatian smiling. They look like fierce monsters, and that's what Gracie looks like. You have to catch her on an angle, and when she's super excited, she makes that face. I'll see if I can add a photo in, like now for you guys, so you can see it, but it is pretty remarkable, and I think it's just one of the most hysterical things in the world. I know you get embarrassed, but show me your smile. Show it to me. Oh no, she's not excited right now. Usually when I get home, you can notice it, but you gotta be like underneath her because she gives me a side smile. There you go. <laughs> I love you so much. Yes. Oh, yes. A lot of people always ask me, where's Gracie at, like, when I go on my vacations, like, to Oregon. And Gracie's got a little, uh, a dog sitter. She comes and she stays with Gracie, and she loves it. They get along great. But Gracie gets to stay home. I did use best friends for a while, and I'll use best friends just in case, like, an emergency. But I like having her home, you know what I mean? I feel like she, she's more relaxed at home. She gets to sit in her bed and just kind of chill out and watch movies all day. What are you watching now? Wait a second. Why is Friends on Nick at Night? This kind of really just blew my mind right now. <laughs> Why is Friends on Nick at Night? It's literally Nick at Night. It had, it, it had Nick at Night over here. Did, are they doing Friends at Nick at Night now? And with that, I think we are done here today. Sorry I was a little absent the past couple of days, just traveling around and getting all settled back in this time zone kind of got me all out of whack, but back and running now, and uh, I had a lot of fun today. Got to enjoy Magic Kingdom a little bit, got to see Bell's Enchanted Tales, and make our way over to Epcot, and I feel like that's a successful day. So, I hope you enjoyed the video. I enjoyed making it, and we'll see you next time. Bye.